Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is uh, January 28th, I do believe. On Sunday morning, I'm coming out here because I do want to cook some of my collard greens, I think, today. I've been asking everybody, do they want some? Um, have not got any response. I've been waiting patiently, but now I want some. So I'm going to come out here and get some of these good old tender greens today. I got some over here. I got some over here. I got some purple mustard greens over here. Yeah, they ready to be cooked. They are ready, they're so soft. I'm gonna let that sun beam on them for a minute. I'm gonna come out here and pick me some of these good old greens right here, y'all. Look at them greens. I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna pick my collard greens right here. I'm going to mix them with um, some mustards right in there. I have three big, nice sized mustards right in here. There's one, there's two, and then there's three. I have a baby one over there. But I'm going to come, this is a different kind of uh, uh, collard green right here. But I do have to come out here and get my broccoli picked also. As y'all see, I have broccoli right here. Here's all of my mustards. These are my cabbages, one, two, and three right in here. My babies I uh, just planted before the storm. Um, let me see, walk over here. My yard is a mess from that storm. I have not really got out here because I've been sick. So I haven't been able to get outside. These are my other broccolis that I'm getting ready to harvest. So I will be coming out here to harvest these before they start flowering and I won't be able to eat them. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna let that one grow some more. I'll probably let this one grow some more. And I'll let these two over here grow some more. I don't see any more over here. But um, I'm sure that I will have some more soon. And these are my, cab my cabbages over here, like I told you guys. These are my cabbages. I had to move everything from over there on the patio. I had everything right here. You guys, I had it all. See them lines? I had four lines, four rows of, get out of here. She know I don't allow her in my yard. I don't want them digging in my ground. But I had four rows of pots, all my collard greens set in a row like this. And um, right before we had that bad storm, they said it was gonna be 75, 70, 75 miles per hour winds. And I was like, no, this tree is not safe. Something told me to move them. So I moved them and the tree fell right there. So if I wouldn't have moved them, my plants would have been destroyed. So I'm glad I listened to my instincts and I moved all my plants over here. I moved all my glass tables over here because everything would have been broke because it, it fell all it covered from that concrete, covered all this and it fell on this, this bench right here, my picnic bench. And uh, it pushed everything off, but it wasn't nothing on there that um, I was really wanting to save. It was just some pots and stuff that it pushed off. So it didn't harm anything, but um, it did fall on here. And now it's all out there. All that tree is out there. They cut it up. And I wanna, I wanna wait for them to cut some more down because if we have another storm, it's gonna fall again. So until then, I'm keeping all my marble tables and everything over here. I'm gonna just set it up where I can get through without running through a little maze. I'm gonna set it up neater than what I do, but I was, like I said, I've been sick. So um, I just came out here today because I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm glad that everybody has been thinking about me, checking on me. I was, I had a reaction to some medicine that um, sent my uh, saliva stuck in my around my esophagus and I couldn't breathe. I was coughing all the time and I was weaving, uh, wheezing and they gave me some more medicine with an inhaler and some steroids and it, I'm taking the last one today and I feel a lot better. I look a lot better, I hope. <laughs> um, I'm out here in the garden for the first time in a long time uh, to check on my collard greens because I want, I want some collard greens. 
but I'm not gonna stay out here in this weather because I have to get out of this weather before I get sick again and my my husband go off on me so I just want to come out here and let you guys know that I'm getting ready to come out here and pick up some of my collars and mustards and then later on I'm do a live video of how I plant my um, peppers so and then look at my plants that died on my banana trees I don't know if they're gonna come back. My palm, my plum, my uh, palm tree right there, it's dead. So I'm, I'm gonna leave everything just like it is. My tomato plant is is molded, so I'm gonna have to cut that down. That's one thing about Florida. Once they get cold, and it and then it starts warming up, they, your plants will mold real easy. So I'm used to it. I'll just cut it down and start over. But it's no different. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know what I was doing. Thank you guys for checking on me and seeing how I was doing. I appreciate all the the texts, phone calls, and everything. Like always, thanks for gardening with Tay. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.